Sarah, I was thinking as you were talking earlier, I was, I was thinking about how over the course of my career, I feel like I've thought about things with each novel and the things that I explore have changed me at the core in some, sometimes in small ways, sometimes in big ways, but, you know, diving into these worlds, I think makes a difference for the writer too. As you were talking about the things before that mean something to you about the romance genre, I was wondering, how do you think you've changed as a person or grown as a person Mm -hmm. as a result of writing these worlds and exploring these topics that you explore that are really about, about empowerment to find joy and happiness in our own lives? That's such a good question because I feel like, and it feels so woo woo to say it, but you're all writers, you know how it works. Um, (laughs) But, but, you know, you have, you learn from every book, obviously, but I've learned a lot from my heroines. You know, I, I think at the, I think I've always written an aspirational heroine for myself. Like I wish, Mm -hmm. you know, I put a, I put a little bit of myself in every heroine, but it's always, you know, in service of writing a heroine who like, I would really like to hang out with, or I would really like to in many cases, have the courage that they have or have the you know the opinion the the willingness to step up that they have um yeah. to you know throw caution to the wind the way they do um so i think um for me writing from the start has always been aspirational it's been about again writing the dream writing the hope and writing you know writing your your hope for for partnership and parity and equity and love and happiness and joy and all the things that romance always, always guarantees. Um, And for me, it's also about, um, you know, writing, especially with romance, gives you a chance to, I think, um, explore the the deep lows too, because if you think of a romance or any book that ends with a happily ever after as a matter of course, as a roller coaster of emotion, the covenant that we have with our readers as writers is that we will deliver you safe and happy at the end. And so like you're willing to explore every emotion that you can get access to in a way that um, really makes it freeing and fun. Um, I think over the years I have tried really hard to learn from other writers too, who have taught me to really be fearless when I, you know, I'm sure you all feel this way when you're reading a book and you're like, the choices she has made are bananas. (laughs) I would never make those choices because I would be afraid I get stuck in the next chapter or, you know, 10 chapters forward. But um, I love fearless writers and I feel like I am um, indebted to so many fearless writers who I've read as a reader. 